Hello again, so this is Q6 operational amplifier. So for this question, uh, we have that in the above circuit, the op amp has input resistance infinite and infinite input resistance and an output resistance here that it's approximately zero. So it's not infinite, it's a typo here. But we finite gain. So in this case, we one of the conditions for the idea one op is not it doesn't hold for this circuit so a is finite so it's no longer infinite okay now we know that the voltage at the output is 10 volts we need to find the open loop gain of the op amp so what's the and also determine the input resistance ra as seen by the source va okay so let's analyze this circuit so first, let's redraw the circuit considering a non-ideal op-amp. So we have our input voltage here, okay? It passes through this 1 mega ohm resistance. Then here it goes to the ground. So here we have 100 ohms. This voltage source is 2 volts, okay? Now for an for a for a non-ideal op amp, basically here we go to the to the non-inverting input. Then we have an input resistance that, in our case, is still infinite, right? And then this connects to the ground. So this R I here, it's close to infinite, right? And then we have this voltage here that I'll call V I. Now on on the there's another circuitry here on the op amp that basically tells us that this voltage here it's a voltage um, it's a voltage dependent voltage source so it has a gain a that now it's finite times that vi and then here we have an output resistance and this is the V out that we have, so we we could imagine like an op amp that's basically this shape here, right? So this is we draw in red here. This is the op amp that we have. So here is plus, here is minus, and here is the well. This output it should be around here, but you get the idea, right? So. Uh, this output resistance here is close to zero ohms so this is kind of ideal for the output resistance for the input resistance it also kind of ideal it's it's infinite but the gain a here it's no longer uh, infinite so it's a finite gain so we know that v out uh, is equals to 10 volts so here we have 10 volts okay now what's the equation that we have for this particular circuit First, because the output resistance is zero and there is no current flowing at the output, it's it's an open here. Basically, V out is equals to a V i. So that's the voltage that we see at the output, right? Now, for the input or like V i, it's equals to a voltage divider between this uh, one mega ohm and this 100 ohm here because this is close to an open circuit so there's no current actually flowing there right so it's just two volts times one sorry 100 ohms divided by one mega ohm plus 100 okay and if we calculate this one is close to 199.98 there's a point here micro volts okay now if we substitute this vi in this equation v out here we get that the gain is equals to the voltage at the output divided by the v the voltage at the input right so this is close to 10 volts right divided by 199.98 micro volts and this gives us something that it's close to 5000 and 5 volt per volt so that's the finite gain that we have for this particular op
And now for, for the second part, what's the input resistance RIA as seen by the source VA? So if you look at the circuit that I just redraw here, there's no current flowing here, right? Because this is close to infinite, so it's an open circuit. So all the current drain, drained by the source here, or provided by the source, flow in this direction here. So it's a series path between the 1 mega ohm and 100 mega ohm. So we could calculate what's the value of this current that's flowing here, right? We could call this IA, and then we have here VA. So the ratio would be like the input resistance for part two. It would be the ratio between VA divided by IA. But because this is a series path, right as I just draw the current here because this current IA it also flowing down here through the 100 ohm so the resistance seen by the voltage source is just 1 mega ohm plus 100 ohms which is close it's a little bit higher than 1 mega ohm but it's approximately 1 mega ohm if you want to be precise like 1 mega plus 1 mega ohm 1 mega in 100 ohms okay <laughs> So that's the, the final answer for the second part.